Okay, so I still stand by everything that I said. And, um, I don't know what's so weird about it. I use the word cunt, so fucking what? Everyone is being a cunt. Some anorexic girl made videos of her clothes and people were calling her a murderer and spreading a bunch of weird, crazy lies about her. And I believe that they're all lies now because it took, like, an hour for a shit ton of lies to be made up about me. Seriously. Make a video, social experiment. Make a video and title it, nah, 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 fuck you, Shani, and be like, hey, cunt faces, what's up? I disagree with you. I don't think that you should zoom in on Eugenia Cooney's room and take pictures of all her Midol bottles. I think y'all are the crazy ones. And they'll make crazy shit up about you. And, um, it's no wonder that she didn't believe her mod was, like, a predator or whatever. I wouldn't believe a fucking thing any of y'all said about me. Not, like, I wouldn't believe a fucking thing y'all said about anything. And anyway, I digress. So I want to talk about that uh, Fifty Shades of Sweat motherfucker. And it pisses me off that he edits me and puts words into my mouth and takes me, like, way out of context and, like, totally misconstrues my point and then reiterates them and, like, totally uh, falsifies everything I says and then, like, uh, says it like it's law. Um, just because he uses these stupid little hot hit buzzwords like nostalgia and body check or what the fuck ever. Just because, uh, like... What what is it with like taking off like with these stupid little little words and running off of them like just because like you're putting them somewhere like like as if uh like gaslighting like just like um narcissism like it, it's becoming this weird I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's just something that I've noticed. Like people run away with words that really should should mean something but like they're just t take it off until they don't anymore especially something that's like should be like in a diagnostic criteria anyway that that maybe that's like a whole different fucking video but that's a, it's, it's it's annoying I, and it's happening to words that like aren't even like diagnostic like nostalgia like what the fuck anyway um one thing though I am still beaming that he remarked that I am in more sophisticated denial, sophisticated denial of my ED than Eugenia is. I mean, shit. All I heard was that I could get skinnier than she is. But, um, I want to say he kind of tried, but it seemed more like damage control like it was like just further manipulation like oh look diet coke head i'm the good guy i'm trying to understand you i'm trying to get you um like he went out of his way to discredit me too and um and then like one minute it's brave that i listed my calories but then because I pointed out Shani's channel is triggering, all of a sudden it's not. How the fuck is that brave anyway? That's a Tuesday. Um, anyway, I don't care if anything is triggering. That's a one point that I keep making over and over and over and over. Like, that's one thing that I made, like, vehemently clear. I do not care that anything... I don't care that Eugenia triggers people. I don't care if I trigger people. I don't care if Shani triggers anyone. I do not give to flying fucks how triggering any of us cunts are. I do not give a fuck if you are triggered. Do not give a fuck. Do not give a flying fuck about triggers. What I give a fuck about is that this bitch is just as, like, every bit 100% as triggering as Eugenia Cooney, but then she's like, this bitch gotta go, I gotta stay. That pisses me off. That is hypocrisy. I'm not saying that she's triggering and I'm not. That's, that's, that was never, like, that's, that's just straight up putting words in my mouth and that kind of just pisses me off. But anyway, um, like, you're never gonna save Eugenia, but, like, if, if she was like, hi, I'm bulimic genius, I am bulimic, <laughs> she's not bulimic genius, she's, uh, she's bulimic Jesus, uh, like, if she was like, hi, I'm bulimic Jesus, 
and I'm going to save Eugenia's life today. And that was like all her content was. I never would have made a video. But the thing is, she's like emboldening these people who are like harassing and stalking. And like anytime anybody comes up and contradicts them and tells like, and they're like, hey, y'all knock it off. Y'all are being cunts. Like anytime anybody like me comes up and like challenges them, they want to fucking silence them and knock them off. Like this happens. And, um, like, they're, they're Nazis. <laughs> like, they're, they're like these bitchy-ass little Karens, you know? They're like these, they're cunts. <laughs> and, um, they, they just like to prosecute. And, uh, they like to go and falsely, like, flag and take off videos of people who are trying to have conversations and who are trying to... Um, speak and stuff on YouTube that they, they just like to do cheap, stupid, nasty stuff like that. And, um, they like to silence people and they like to do shit that I don't like. Um, that shit just piss. They like to bully mentally ill people into treatment and into silence and into throwing worse fits online for their entertainment and they like stuff like that and uh, that don't jive with me and I mean somebody needs to whistleblow that kind of stuff um anyway but where where do we draw the line with triggers I mean basically what I gather from everyone is that um triggers are fine it's okay to be triggered we want to see your triggers we want to see you throw up on camera we want to see you be like a fucking morbid trip freak show for us like if if Eugenia were here doing everything she was doing and she was like yeah I have an eating disorder yeah I'm going to like answer all your questions yeah I'm going to if Eugenia were doing everything she was doing but she was like making framing it as like some lifetime sob story that would be fine for everyone because they're not angry that they're being triggered they're angry that they're not getting having their demands met um it, it's it's just a fucking hell. I'm sorry, I'm balancing y'all on a coffee cup. Anyway, this this is like just a Karen fit. This is this is like this isn't about Eugenia getting better. This isn't about anybody's kids dying. This is about Karen's wanting to talk to the YouTube manager about not getting the content that they desire. Um. Anyway, um. It's like, it's fine and it's okay to be triggered as long as you get the magic abracadabra trigger warning words that exempts you. Also, you can't swear and you're magically okay in a little preachy segment um, and boom, it's all magically okay, but it's still an illusion and it's an illusion where a lifetime paints a half-ass picture and puts a portrait over reality of eating disorders and it keeps it digestible for most people. And I think most people and a lot of people with eating disorders want that because there's a lot of gross stuff about eating disorders that are really difficult to confront. And then these things are grossly entwined with personality disorders and a clusterfuck of other bullshit that I don't think most people really have a good idea um, of and um, where we're coming from. And um, I, I don't think... Like the reality of the manipulation of living with somebody with an eating disorder or the reality of the uh, of the anger or uh, uh, there's there's just a lot. And um, I think it's just easier to deal with the Ben and Jerry pint challenges. It's easier to deal with like the kind of digestible Alzani bullshit. It's it's easier to deal with a lot of things than it is to deal with Eugenia. Eugenia, like it's kind. Of, I guess I I don't know. I don't really know what it is. It's it's strange. Like what's happening is just it's very strange. Like there's never been anything like this before. Just because we've never really had social media before, and nobody knows what the fuck to do. I guess. Um, but I don't think that the answer is simply banning it and shoving it under the rug. I think that we should let it be here because how the fuck are we going to figure it out? How the 
fuck are we going to like find a solution if we just cover it up and pat ourselves on the back and say we did it because we didn't. We just put a band-aid over a fucking bullet wound. And that's fucking stupid. Don't be fucking stupid. Anyway, bye.